I am going to open it up uh, for uh, feedback from uh, the remote centers, okay. So the five remote centers that we have requested are VJTI in Matunga, Mumbai, our close neighbors, VIT Velour, uh, Siliguri Institute of Technology, Darjeeling, Dronacharya College of Engineering, Noida, and IPS Academy, Indore, okay. So we will start with VJTI Matunga. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, myself, Mrs. Uh, Gitali Ingawale speaking from VJTI. Uh, lectures were really very, very informative and uh, at the same time, as a teacher, uh, whatever we learn here, uh, those, those part are really very, very interesting and uh, wonderful and those part uh, we will definitely convey to our students as well as we will definitely uh, uh, go for that uh, uh, how to reduce uh, these global warming or whatever environmental problems are there. So that we will be really uh, uh, try to edu educate uh, not only ourselves, students and for the entire society. So this particular two weeks programs are uh, really, really very, uh, very, very informative. And uh, we express sincere thanks to our remote centers, coordinators and at the same time director. So thank you very much, sir, okay. such a organizing and looking forward. Thank you very much. Yeah, sir. thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, very nice. We go on to VIT Velour. Uh, we are very happy to attend this uh, program. Uh, last uh, 10 days, uh, we have learned many things about uh, environmental studies. Uh, I am very happy to say that our uh, center coordinates, uh, they treated very well for us. At the same time, uh, we learned many things from you. I appreciate uh, all of you, the effort taken. At the same time, I point out uh, some of the courses is not uh, covered as per our uh, timetable given. Even we understand that practical problems, but even though we are expecting some of the topics should be covered in some other uh, expert. So only this type of minor correction. So in future, if you correct it, definitely the participant will get benefit out of it. I hope 150 centers or people definitely get benefit of topic. This will go to our student community, really. Thank you very much for giving this opportunity. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, my request to you is, uh, please send us, uh, I'll, on the Moodle, I, I will open up a thread which says, we wish you had taught us this as well, and then we'll open it up. So please add over there the topics which you think should be covered, so we will uh, an attempt, make an attempt to actually have it covered next time or make resources available to you uh, over the next few months. Uh, let's move on to Siliguri Institute, Darjeeling. So thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to be a part of this two weeks very valuable uh, workshop on environmental studies. We learned a lot from the eminent speakers of IIT Mumbai and other eminent institutes like uh, Amruta University. We enjoyed at the max the the sessions conducted by Professor Nikhil, it was really a very fruitful one for all of us along with your sessions on air pollution. And thank you very much for your assignments also. Uh, we hope we will meet up the expectations which is there for the uh, workshops. And I would like to express my gratitude, sincere gratitude to the coordinator, RC coordinator as well as our principal sir as well as director sir for giving us the opportunity to be a part of this program and learn from the eminent professors like you, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Siliguri. Appreciate your acknowledgement. Okay, uh, 1316, Dronacharya. I, Dr. S.K. Bagga, Director, uh, Dronacharya College of Engineering, Greater Noida. Thank you very much for conducting this workshop at our institute. The faculty of our college as well as the participating colleges, they have given a, an excellent feedback about the overall outcome of the workshop. They have, they will utilize this experience or this knowledge uh, to conserve the Mother Earth and uh, for th that leads to the better green and clean Earth, a clean environment. Uh, in the end, I would like to um, thank for this workshop and my faculty members, they would also like to share the, their feedback. Good afternoon, sir. I am Sarika Agarwal from Dronacharya College of Engineering, Greater Noida. 
So this workshop was very impressive and interesting. We have learned a lot from it. And the video shown in this workshop was very effective, especially the video which shows how to save water. Hmm. Uh, it was well suggested the right and practical ways how to use, how to save water. Like uh, we can use our waste water in watering the plants, flushing the toilets. Moreover, this workshop is uh, was really an eye opener for us and motivate us to make to make our planet more beautiful. Thank you, sir. I hand over mic to Mr. C. Ganesh to give a feedback. Good afternoon, sir. This is C. Ganesh from Dronacharya College of Engineering, Great Noida. Sir, we have entered this workshop with very little knowledge and a lot of queries on environmental studies. Now, most of us are having very good knowledge on the concepts like sustainable development, biodiversity, natural resources, social issues and environment and many other. The videos shown during the presentation are very helpful in understanding very clearly the quiz discussions which had happened it was very energetic the lectures and recorded course material which you had given us in the module is most wonderful part of the workshop we are 100 percent sure that we will give this knowledge to students and motivate them to help the environment too finally all this is possible only with great effort and time of faculty from iit bombay and amrita vishwavidya peter we are very thankful to all of you sir thank you the director of your institute spoke uh, before. Uh, I just want you to know that, uh, as I'm saying this to you, sir, I just want you to know that uh, all uh, across the other 151 remote centers as well, uh, thank you for standing for the uh, participation of, of, at this center and for the you know, neighboring. So there's a lot of people who've come from the neighboring colleges. So I request that we continue to look at this as an opportunity uh, to be like a, a, a node for uh, other activity on environmental work that we are proposing in future. So thank you very much. And uh, in thanking you, I'd like to thank uh, all the senior uh, administration colleagues who have supported in the, in the fulfillment of this vision, this mission. Thank you. 1039 IPS Academy, Indore. Very good evening, sir. On behalf of IPS Academy, I would like to thank all the uh, eminent professors and lecturers who gave us uh, informative sessions on air pollution, food resources, water resources and ethics. Further, I would like to emphasize especially, sir, that we had a very good uh, experience of how to teach environmental studies, especially through your lecture. I would it would have been amazing if we had some more emphasis on modern instrumentation techniques related to environment and some more em emphasis on uh, biodiversity and sustainable development. Uh, at this point, it would be nice if we could uh, share with you that we uh, in IPS Academy are practicing the plastic recycling methods and uh, we have an ETP our, of our own with water treatment facilities and we are also planning for a water harvesting methods. And we assure you that after having your gone through your sessions, we will surely disseminate this knowledge to our students effectively and to the society also effectively. Thank you. One, two, zero, two. Ratnavel. Good evening, sir. First of all, I would like to thank IIT Bombay for organizing this kind of nationwide uh, workshop on the environmental studies. And we would like to confess that um, we are very fortunate to be a part of this kind of workshop and uh, being participate, being a witness to the lectures given by the eminent purpose like you and um, I assure that we will uh, implement all the ideas given by you to students and day-to-day -day life. Thank you, sir. Nagpur, VNIT, Nagpur. So this is very excellent and outstanding SDP program or workshop to understand the environmental uh, studies knowledge for various uh, disciplined uh, uh, faculty members. And it will be definitely helpful for the students in our institutions and it will be also helpful for the building the nation in environmental implications. Thank you very much, sir. Have a good day. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, big hand. All right, so uh, before I request some of the faculty colleagues to come and, um, you know, acknowledge and appreciate you, 
Uh, I just want you to know that it's been an absolute pleasure working with you. And the work hasn't ended yet. We've got another uh, two weeks of work to do. And then I'm sure there will be more follow-up work to do. Okay? So let's keep playing. Uh, we, this is just a starting point. Uh, you will actually be stepping out uh, from this course into the real normal back where you came from. And so you'll have different eyes to be looking from and different things to be sharing. Okay? So uh, thank you very much and congratulations for all the hard work that you have put in. I'm going to now request Professor um, uh, Narayanan to uh, come and uh, summarize his part of the uh, uh, talk. Very good evening to all of you. So glad to be around here uh, listening to all of you and your feedback. We also look forward to uh, you know, receiving your uh, feedback and uh, response to the quiz that we are uh, conducting because that will also give us an idea of how effective we have been as Professor Sethi had already pointed out. Now, I just wanted to say, uh, reiterate what uh, Professor Sethi said as well as what was said right in the inaugural session. The idea here has been to sort of uh, share this knowledge with all of you, uh, share what exactly we are teaching in the Animal Studies course uh, in IIT Bombay over the years. And uh, we are glad to know that most of you have found the material that we have discussed with you very useful. Of course, uh, it is coming from variety of uh, you know background, so you might find it uh, you know a little tough, and it will be a lot of effort that you have to put in to synthesize all of them to take it to the classroom. If at any point in time you want some uh, input from me, as uh, especially to introduce uh, concepts and methods in numerical economics, uh, please do feel free uh, to uh, you know post message in Moodle, and uh, we'll be able to. Uh, I assure you that I'll respond uh, in a short span of time. So the whole idea is sensitize the students the way we wanted, we have attempted to sensitize you uh, in dealing with uh, the uh, you know economic issues. Now the reason why I'm saying economic issues is because all of us are affected and uh, also participants of the development process. So at no point in time we would like to say environment can be preserved or conserved only at the cost of uh, cutting down on the development process. The development and environment can go together. Preservation of environment, conservation of resources, optimal use of resources can go alongside achieving high rates of economic progress and prosperity for all communities. So that is the thing that we, that is the message that I would like to, uh, I was uh, hinting at in the discussion. So what we should aspire is for uh, placing the economy on the path of sustainable development. With that word, I thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Uh, Professor Nick Hill, uh, would you please uh, take uh, this camera now? Okay, good. Thank you. Please go ahead. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's, a, it's been a great pleasure to uh, have uh, been with you for the past so many days. Uh, it's, it's actually a great privilege and um, I, I got to learn a lot of things. Uh, I would just like to, in one minute, I would like to summarize the, the various sessions that, uh, that I, I covered. Um, I, I started off with sustainable development, which, uh, which, where the main point that I made over there is that sustainability cannot uh, be uh, a, uh, an automatic outcome of our well-meaning efforts, but that it must be designed. Uh, so coordinated efforts from various directions and various fields are going to be necessary. Uh, various fields such as economics, technology, uh, policy, governance, all these various fields, they have to come together on, for sustainability to happen. But then again, no solution is possible unless we fundamentally understand what caused the problem. So uh, if a fundamental a root cause analysis becomes absolutely essential, and it turns out that in this context, uh, the root cause is actually to do with human attitude. It is, it is not something, something physical. The root cause is not something physical in nature. But it, it has got to do with human attitude. So our attitude towards the environment, our attitude uh, towards our uh, fellow men, and uh, our attitude uh, towards ourselves. So this is, um, this is why the topics like ethics and uh, philosophy become very central to this whole disco discourse about uh, sustainability. And that is why we actually had uh, sessions by uh, Professor Panda also on uh, philosophy. So, these uh, areas are extremely important and education uh, which allows us to investigate into uh, these areas and also uh, to uh, to spread the, the whatever we learn to, to the uh, future generations 
uh, it, it becomes essential that our educational system is geared up towards sustainability in other words it it cannot only be a, uh, a you know the conventional education uh, which is le let's say technology education or science education or whatever it is but along with that it should integrate uh, the the, the uh, ethics and uh, the philosophical aspects also so uh, a holistic education which uh, which uh, gives this kind of a balanced weightage to all these things alone is um, uh, is capable of maintaining uh, you know the uh, equilibrium with the biosphere so to speak so uh, that's uh, that's all I have uh, for now. Uh, it, it's been a great pleasure. We'll continue to interact on Moodle. There are many things that uh, we we could have done, uh, but due to the limited time, we could not do. But then, uh, of us are such creative teachers, and so many creative ideas have also come up on Moodle that I'm I'm totally confident that uh, you can in your own classroom and in your own teaching with your own students, you can absolutely take it to the next level. And uh, please share your ideas so that we can continue to learn together. Thank you so much. I'm going to now request uh, Dr. Mukta Atre to please come and uh, uh, bring a uh, closure and, you know, on behalf of uh, Professor Fatak and on behalf of herself. She's been the force, the wing, the wind beneath the wing, so to say. Okay, so uh, I just want you to know that I appreciate all the work that has gone into it. Thank you, Professor Sethi. Uh, it has been a great pleasure for all of us here as well. I speak on behalf of my team. It's been absolutely wonderful working with a, a, you know, a team of uh, faculty as enthusiastic and as committed as this uh, particular team. It's really been great. And uh, on behalf of our project, I'd like to say that uh, we've been uh, doing this for the past five or six years now almost. And uh, this particular uh, group of participants, I believe, has been the most enthusiastic and the most uh, interactive so far. Uh, though, though you are maybe smaller in numbers compared to our uh, earlier uh, workshops, but I must say that uh, the number of uh, emails, the number of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, discussions on the forum and everything, it has kept us on our toes and we have really enjoyed doing that. Thank you so much for being a part of this wonderful STTP. Thank you. I'm now going to request uh, Professor Partha Sarthi, uh, who was a part of our team as a, uh, as a colleague for teaching, but really I'm also request, I've requested him to be here as someone who heads the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences, and he has a larger vision of where we are headed with this. Uh, so I'm uh, going to hand over the microphone to uh, Professor Partha Sarthi. So please welcome Professor Partha Sarthi for the valedictory speech. Thank you, Professor Sethi, and all the other faculty members and the team uh, here, and all the coordinating centers who helped us very successfully carry out this uh, workshop. OK. So usually, when people like your coordinators enter IIT, they do so through the main gate and come through this road that you're seeing here. So even though we couldn't bring all 4,000 of you here, uh, we brought you here using technology, and we hope you have all benefited from this. But we also want to thank you for allowing us to get into your minds and hopefully into your hearts. And for that, a big thank you from all of us. But thank you also for many other things. Firstly, for the opportunity to co-learn. As many of us believe, teaching is the best way of learning. And we and you, I think, have learned a lot in the last few days through mutually training each other. Though all of us here have been involved in this course, I think doing it in this way for all of you uh, has helped us to develop a more multi and interdisciplinary perspective on environment studies, which hopefully we have also been able to convey to you. But thank you also for helping us to structure our thoughts, get more focus in teaching this course and get a grasp especially on issues related to pedagogy because all these years that we have been teaching to students, we have been focusing more on content. The fact that we are training teachers who will be teaching students, how to teach environment studies itself is a very interesting and huge issue and we all thank you for that opportunity for us to train ourselves in thinking about these issues. And also for the very large number of interesting questions you threw at us which we haven't yet had time to answer, 
But uh, rest assured, in the next few days, we will get back to your questions and answer each one of them. Okay. So I think uh, we have, if uh, those of you who have been to IIT Bombay campus would have seen this sculpture called Tree of Knowledge. And this I think is a very good example of what we have done here. Seven of us along with this team, about 300 coordinators, 4,000 teachers and who knows about 400,000 students will be teaching. That's what the Tree of Knowledge is about. So we, I wish, we wish to close by focusing on a few issues. One is that environment studies as a subject is unique. It's very different from teaching all other subjects because it is by nature multidisciplinary. And that it's not just about conveying certain skills to students, making students aware, but it is about creating a larger impact on society through teaching a particular course. And especially I would like to say, as I've been stressing in my classes as well, that the Indian context throws up some unique problems. And as I was discussing with a colleague before I came here today in the morning, we were talking about the huge impact that engineering colleges such as yours will have, can have, if you people start focusing on environmental issues rather than hiring all kinds of consultants from the United Nations and World Bank who come and do a lot of things for us and then finally we, end, we find nothing much has happened. It is you who are in the field, who are closer to the ground and uh, who know what kind of technological solutions are required for what kind of problems. So I think you may treat this workshop not just as a way in which you have acquired skills for teaching students, but also more importantly as a way in which you yourself can begin, begin working on environmental problems in your own neighborhoods. I would again, like the earlier speakers also have said, uh, ad uh, advocate that all of you focus not just on content, but also on how best to teach environment studies. So issues that I have mentioned earlier, I have highlighted here. But those of you who have the advantage of being uh, more autonomous, please make use of that flexibility to teach uh, topics beyond the UGC syllabus to get into learning exercises beyond just exams and make use of multiple modes like we have uh, advised you over the last few days. And also, most importantly, to help students to learn, to reflect and innovate on environmental issues and not to repeat the mistakes of our and previous generations, which has led to this particular mess. Finally, some of you have been bothered by these questions as have some of us and some of you have written to me about this. I am a chemical engineer, I am a civil engineer, I teach commerce, I teach management, I teach English communications, why should I teach environment studies? Should we have envi environmental studies specialists as some of you have said? We need to remind ourselves of what Professor Fatak said in the introduction. Environmental studies should not be made into a separate silo which is taught only by experts and all of us can just go back to sleep and live life as it is, as we have done before, without thinking about the environment, thinking that somebody else is going to take care of it. The whole purpose of teaching environmental studies in this way to students is perhaps to make environmental studies redundant. That 10 years from now, 20 years from now, we won't have to teach this course because every single faculty in every particular discipline will have incorporated or integrated environmental studies into his or her specialization and discipline. And that is the best way in which you can teach environmental studies. But since that was not done, for so many years and decades, we are following this method so that you can train the future generation who will think environmentally irrespective of which subject they are teaching. So, but in the process, each of you can also identify certain distinct roles for science, technology, policy, commerce, management, each of your different disciplines and see how these can contribute to making the world a better place in terms of human environment interface. Finally. I want to end by saying that all of us, despite the fact that we are the so-called trainers here who have taught all of you, we are still in these silos. Whereas you have now gained a multi and interdisciplinary knowledge of environmental studies. Because of our own training and the research we do, despite the fact that we have been teaching these courses together, we are still experts in our own fields. You on the other hand are experts in so many different disciplines. So, be proud of yourselves. Give a pat on the back to yourselves. Thank you very much.